Hi there, I'm Corporal Oliver Tyso from the Ponsby RSL Squadron. I'm 16 years old and I'm going to take you for a pre-flight walk around of our Cessna 152 here, Sierra Oscar X-Ray. So first thing we do when we approach the plane for the walk around, we come into the cockpit, we turn the master switch on and we turn some lights on so we can check that they're working as well as we put the flaps down so we can make sure they're all working well. We have a static point on the side which makes our instruments run okay. We check that that's clear and not blocked. Then we come up, have a look at the wing, give the wings a bit of a shake, make sure nothing's loose, make sure there's no cracks or anything. At this stage we can take the pitot cover off. That covers another little hole which is used to measure the airspeed and pressure. Make sure that's not blocked so we can measure that all right. We'll chuck this inside. So then we'll come along, we'll look at the front wing, front of the wing, make sure there's no cracks, not many dents, that looks all right. Let's we'll look at the general condition, make sure there's no bolts loose, red lights on, on the left side of the plane, that's good, make sure there's no cracks. Now we come along with the ailerons, make sure they're moving opposite to one another on each side, make sure there's nothing wrong with that. We look for four bolts along the inside. And that's all good. Keep coming down, we get to the flaps. Just make sure they're on tight. Make sure the tracks are free so they can move well. And nothing's blocking the path, that looks good. Make sure the tyres are inflated. Make sure the wheels and cap coverings are intact. And everything looks good down there. Make sure the rear fuselage, no cracks, no dents. That looks pretty good. Then we get back to the tailplane, so we make sure all the screws are in tight. Push the elevator up and down, make sure that's working well. Look underneath, all the screws are intact, that looks good. Have a look at the bin and the runner. No scratches, no dents, that looks good. We've got the beacon light flashing on top, and we've got the position light on the back shining light. Have a look at the other side of the rudder, that looks pretty good. Make sure the cables inside are there and connected. And we do the same for the other side of the tail plane. Elevator looks good. All the screws are in place. Other side of the roof fuselage looks good. And then we do the same thing on the other side. The flaps are okay. Nothing's blocking the tracks or the rails, that looks good. Tires inflated, that looks good. Fine. Same thing with the other aileron. Nothing bad on top, nothing bad on the bottom. Goes opposite to the other side as well. We look inside four bolts, four bolts, four bolts. They're all screwed in. Now we can bring that back to neutral. Just making sure the wing's in good shape, no dents. Green light on the left side, on the right side, sorry. Coming along the front wing tip. No dents, no cracks, that looks good. Same thing with this wing strut, give it a shake, that's all good. Now we come around to the front of the plane where the engine is. So we have a look at the front of the aircraft, have a look at the strut for the wheel, make sure it's plenty of space for the suspension when we land so we don't hit the metal up together. That looks pretty good, the front tire is inflated. Then we come up to the cowling of the engine, open this one up, check the oil quantity, we pull that out. Looks like we have sufficient quantity, about four and a half quarts of oil in there. That looks good. Pop that back on. All the screws in the cowling look good. Now we come around to the propeller, make sure there's no cracks or scratches in that. Make sure the make sure the nose cone is on properly. Same with the other propeller. Make sure our landing light and taxi lights are in, in working order. That looks pretty so now it's time to check the fuel, so we'll check the quantity of the fuel with a dipstick and then we'll drain the tanks with a fuel drainer to make sure there isn't any water or any other foreign objects in the tank. So we'll jump up on top of the plane and we open the fuel cap on top, make sure the dipstick's clean, put it down, pull it back out, read where the measurement of the fuel is. Looks like about 30 litres in this tank. And 
then we'll put the fuel cap back on and we do the same to the other side. So I'll come around this side and do the same thing. Open the cap, tip goes in, and looks like about 35 litres on this side. And the fuel cap goes back on nice and tight for the next person. Then we need to make sure the fuel doesn't have any water or any other foreign objects in it. So I'll put the dipstick down, and what we do, come under the wing. We've got a fuel draining point just here. This little plastic tip on it pushes a pushes the plug up there and the fuel comes out. Fills up the drainer. We look for a nice blue colour in it. We make sure there isn't any little particles floating around. There's no bubble on the bottom because that means there's going to be water in the bottom. So we'll go around and do that on, on the other side as well as the from the engine. So this is where we check the fuel, from, check the oil from before. So we'll go underneath, pull it up from the top, and that fills up. Checking for the same blue colour, make sure there's no water bubbles, foreign objects in there. And we do the same for the last side. Fill it right up. So to me that looks like pretty clean fuel, no water bubbles, no foreign objects, nice blue colour, and it looks pretty safe to go flying with.